listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. It's a cold day in Gwinnett County, 39 degrees, going up to a high of 49. Feels like it's 32. It's chilly, y'all. When you have to turn the heat on, <clears throat> it's a little chilly. It's a little bit chilly here in Gwinnett County. But nonetheless, it's supposed to be because it is about to be winter. December the 21st is what? The first day of winter. So it only makes sense. It only makes sense. All right, today is Tuesday, November the 28th. It's also Talk Business Tuesday. And we're going to be talking about something that I, I felt was necessary to talk about in a very crowded world where there's so much content, so much, so many entrepreneurs out there, so many people to compete with or, you know, or to compare yourself with, so many opportunities for exposure that people are missing because they're sleeping on them. Um, and I want to share something that Mark Victor Hansen said with me long years ago that I've never forgotten. I have never forgotten this advice and I will take it to heart forever. And I've been, and I've been, I've been doing it ever since. So I want to share with you what that is and why that's so important especially in this day and age where there's so many entrepreneurs out there. When I first started, there were a lot of entrepreneurs. Now we have millions and millions and millions. When I first started out in business, we didn't have that many entrepreneurs. Like you could make a, you could make a, you could build a brand for yourself because the space wasn't so crowded. Now the space is just crowded. And every day someone decides they want to be an entrepreneur. Every day there's a new entrepreneur that pops up. But I think that there's some key things that's missing. And I think that people have gotten really spoiled to the fact that social media is there and they think social media is all all in um be all it all in what is it? All in be it, all in be all, the all in be all for everything, and it's not. And because, and you're leaving opportunities on the table for exposure. And I want to talk about that today on Talk Business Tuesday. So before we get into that, let's get, let's get this train rolling. Today is also Giving Tuesday. <clears throat> what does that mean? Find an organization that you want to support and give back. That's what that means. So you have, you have Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, and Giving Tuesday. If you know a nonprofit organization or just people in general that you want to do something nice for, today is Giving Tuesday. So find someone to give something to today because it is Giving Tuesday. It's also National French Toast Day. So yeah, I like French toast. I haven't had French toast in a long time though. I can't really eat syrup anymore. It really messes up my system and I feel horrible, like to the point where I just want to pass out because I feel so bad. So I, I every once in a while, I just break down. I, and it doesn't last for long. It lasts about 10 minutes, but that's like the most miserable 10 minutes ever. And so every now and again, I want to eat some pancakes. I will eat them knowing that I'm going to feel horrible after. I, I don't do it very often, but every now and again, I say, you know, I really want some pancakes and I, and I'll break it's something about the syrup and I haven't found the. I haven't even found the placement for buttery maple syrup. I haven't found one. Um, Albania Independence Day. It's also um, <clears throat> National Allen Day. So if your name is Allen, shout out to you. National Cold Day. If your name is Cold, shout out to you. National Madison Day. If your name is Madison, I think that's a cute name. Shout out to you if your name is Madison. National Patrick Day. Shout out to you if your name is Patrick. Um, the Red Planet Day. So that's Mars. You know, that's where everybody's trying to get back to. Mars. Are you, do you guys think we're from Mars? Yeah, we're 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 definitely alien. Yeah, I know folks like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. Yeah, you had to come from somewhere. I know y'all think y'all came. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. Anna Nicole Smith's birthday, happy birthday all the way to heaven, darling. Um, Arjun Gupta's birthday, happy birthday, Arjun. Bashir's Gray's birthday, happy birthday, Bashir. Um, Chase Elliott's birthday, happy birthday, Chase Elliott. Um, Christine Blasey's fourth birthday, happy birthday, Christine Blasey's fourth. Fat Man Scoop Day. Happy birthday, Fat Man Scoop. Jake Miller's birthday. Happy birthday, Jake. Jarvis Landry's birthday. Happy birthday, Jarvis. John Stewart's birthday. Happy birthday, John. Judd Nelson birthday. Happy birthday, Judd. Karen Gillian's Gillen's birthday. Happy birthday, Karen. Rose Marie's Vegas birthday. Happy birthday, darling. Ryan Latrune's birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. Those are your national days and birthdays for the day. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thaza for today, Tuesday, November the 28th. Gonna kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. 
If you haven't already, consider starting your own business. Here we go. Take your time. You must not make unnecessary changes today. All right, Aries. <clears throat> today is Talk Business Tuesday, so I can talk more about this starting your own business piece. I won't go too deep because I got stuff I want to talk about later on in the show about what Mark Victor Hansen, who is the author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, once told me, and I have lived by that principle ever since he told me. And I'll tell y'all what that is. But for you, Aries, for starting your own business, I'm going to tell you there's so many opportunities out there to start a business today. I'm talking about just, you can start a YouTube channel. You can start a podcast. You can start a blog. Yes, blogs are still relevant and they make money. Um, you can start a catering company. You can start a print-on-demand t-shirt company. You can start a print-on-demand plate company. You, There are so many opportunities out there, right, out there right now. It is unbelievable, right? But here's what you have to figure out. You have to figure out exactly what it is you want to do that you can commit to. We, You can probably do a lot of things, but you need to be able to commit to that thing. If you have a problem with commitment issues, Aries, you might not want to start a business because it's going to take a lot of commitment. It's going to take a lot of being down on your knees in the trenches. It's going to take a lot of sleepless nights. Listen, I've been doing this for 26 years and I still have sleepless nights. I had one last night. I looked at my Fitbit for the night before I slept three hours and 28 minutes. Yeah. For an entire day out of 20, out of 24 hours, I slept three hours and 28 minutes. So you're going to have a lot of sleepless nights. You got to be prepared for that. You're going to lose some people out of your life. You got to be prepared for that. You're going to feel lonely and and just feeling like, why did I do this? You got to be prepared for that. There's a lot to consider before you start your own business. You have to have the right mindset to do this thing that's called entrepreneurship. Trust me when I tell you. And if you're trying to grow from an entrepreneur into a business, that takes a whole nother mindset shift, which means now you have to manage people or hire people to manage people to run a business. Because as an entrepreneur, I'm still an entrepreneur. What's the difference you say? The difference is if this, if, if I'm not working, there is no business. When you have a business, it runs without you. I'm still trying to get to the business stage after 26 years and I'm very close. So a lot to think about Aries before you start about, think about starting a business. So make sure you think that thing through. Taurus, your intellectual charm will entice new love interests. You are able to make changes in your home that will be favorable to all involved. Take advantage of your attributes and lure the mate of your choice. All right, what kind of attributes you got going on, Taurus? Whatever they are, you want to lure that person that you want? and You want to take advantage of that? Yeah, you got to take advantage of the attributes. You want that person, that special person? Now, I don't know exactly what that means, and I don't know what attributes you got, but listen, go for it, baby. Yeah. Gemini, proceed with caution if operating equipment or vehicles. If you put your energy into physical outlets, you will avoid confrontations. You may find that you can be the recipient recipient of valuable information if you're willing to be a good listener. Okay, so Gemini, today you just need to be quiet and listen. You're going to get some good information, but you won't get it if you're running your mouth. You got to shut up and listen today if you want that information. Now, if you don't care about the information, keep flapping your gums. But if you want it, loose lips, sink ship, just be quiet. Shh. That's what you do today. Cancer, you need to interact with your need. You need to interact with others if you want to expand your knowledge. Losses are evidence. Deceit around your deceit around you is evident. All right, look. <clears throat> You can expand your knowledge. You might want to stay away from all the people that are trying to be deceitful around you. Find some folks that's doing some positive things and get around those people, Cancer. This is a conversation I have a lot of time with my daughter. And I always say to her, what are your friends doing? Because you are the sum of the five people that you're around the most. And if you're around people that are not doing anything, chances are you won't either. You know what I'm saying? And I tell her that, but, you know, does she listen? Sometimes she does. That goes for me too. I am the sum of the five people I'm around the most, which is pretty much nobody. I'm around nobody, y'all. I'm in my home office nine times out of ten by myself. That will change in the coming year. I will be out a lot more around other people who are smarter than me. That's a little bit hard, and I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but yeah, I need to be around some people that's smarter than me. That's what you need to do to cancer. Leo, consider making pleasure trips or participating in entertainment that will require energy. Try not to get involved in other people's problems. Be prepared to make compensations and adjustments. All right, Leo, what they're saying today is mind your own business. Don't be a part of other folks' problems. Let them work that out themselves. 
They need to work it out. They don't need you interfering. They don't need your two cents. You need to just fall back today and let them handle it. They can handle it. I know you want to fix it. We're fixers, but not today. Let them handle their own today. All right? All right. Virgo, you may get upset with peers or relatives. That's nothing new. Take whatever time you can to get to know each other all over again. Your efforts won't go unnoticed. However, someone you work with may get jealous. Okay, watch out for that jealous person. You, they all around you, Virgo. They don't like the fact that you're outspoken and you're outgoing and, you're, and people love you because you got a bubbly spirit. And they don't like that. So they're trying to, they're jealous and they may try to stab in your back. Watch them. They smile on your face and all the time they want to take your place. Them backstabbers, you know who they are. And if you don't know, just be quiet and look, look around. Keep your eyes open so you can figure out who they are. All right, Virgo? Cool. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's your girl, Oji Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily run, bringing you the daily horoscope. Listen, I'm trying to, I got an app that's open. I'm trying to close the app out, y'all. It's hilarious because now I can't find it and it's talking and I hear it talking and I can't find it on my phone. Okay, maybe it stopped. Okay. So crazy. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Because I'm over here multitasking as usual and I had an app open 
I can't even find the app. That's because I shouldn't have been multitasking. Anyway, welcome back to the show. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Micah Thyssen. For today, Tuesday, November the 28th, it's also Talk Business Tuesday, so stick around because I want to share something that Mark Victor Hansen shared with me some years ago that I live by to this day, and I want you to find out what that is. And I also got some other stuff I want to share with you because as an entrepreneur, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of stuff you got to do, so stick around. I'm going to talk about it. All right, we're going to pick up, pick this thing up with Libra. Be cautious of making any residential changes today. Romantic encounters will develop through group activity. Try not to be too emotional with those around you. All right, look, listen here, listen here. Don't make any residential changes today and romantic encounters could develop through group activities. Now, here's the thing about the whole romantic in developments. Are you in a situationship, Libra? That's the question. You need to ask yourself that question. I'm not asking you. I'm just I'm just giving you some food for thought. I get it. You're in this group. He fine. She's sexy. Yeah. But are you in a situation ship? Hmm. Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Scorpio, try not to be too aggressive or judgmental when talking to your mate. For best results, get out of the office and do your job en route. Dig deep to find out how costly a new venture will be before you sign on the dotted line. I'm to my real deep Scorpio. I was putting together my budget for 2024 for Good Morning Gwinnett. And right now my budget is $225,000. That's the budget. And I was like, okay, that's my budget. And I had to go back and make sure that I got in all the costs. And of course I left out of cost. I was like, how the heck did I leave that cost out of the budget? We're just going to add about another $10,000 to the budget. So I'm looking at... I'm looking at around 235, 235,000. However, I'm always I need a little cushion, so I'm I'm going for a 250,000 dollar budget. So dig deep before you go into that new dip venture, Scorpio. Dig real deep. You want to make sure you don't leave anything um, under the rocks. All right, Sagittarius, be prepared to lose friends or alienate loved ones due to the stubborn nature today. You can make some money if you get involved in conservative financial prospects that is presented to you. Take time to explain your intentions to loved ones. All right, look, Sagittarius, you can get involved with money-making ventures. They, they look conservative, but do your due diligence. Don't just jump out there all willy-nilly because it look good and you think it's conservative. Do your homework first because it, it is a business venture and you could lose money. So just understand that you need to understand what you're about to get into. So do the, do the footwork before you sign on the dotted line. All right? <clears throat> Capricorn, your dynamic, determined approach will win favors as well as helping hands. Visitors may be likely to drop by. Business and emotional partnerships will run smoothly. Thank God for that, Capricorn. You you must have done something right. If you ever, if if the business and the relationship, emotional partnerships will run smoothly, you have done something correctly. Congratulations to you. Keep doing that same thing. All right, probably good communications there too, because a lot of times that's the issue. Bad communications will sink a ship. It will sink a business. Bad communications will sink a business. So if your thing is running smoothly, that's because you probably got good lines of communications wide open. And kudos to you for that. Aquarius, children may be demanding and entertainment could be could cost a lot more than you can really afford. Partners may try to argue with you. However, you must stand your ground. Deep discussions may only lead to friction. All right, look, you may not want to be arguing today. You know what I mean? You might want to just release some things and move on. Um, Deep discussions may only lead to friction. Yeah, yeah. So you might want to avoid those. If you don't want friction today, you want a smooth day, then don't have the deep discussions, Aries. Not today. Hold it for another day because it's going to definitely lead to frictions. Okay? All right. All right. Last but not least, my fellow fish, Pisces, you can get into weight loss programs or go, listen, Tell me about it. You can get into weight loss programs or go out and change your image with a new look and clothing, hairstyle, and attitude. All of them. Weight loss, clothing, the whole thing, fish. I'm doing the whole thing. You may get upset with your peers or relatives. Um, Romantic encounters are evident through travel or educational pursuits. All right, listen here, fish. First of all, you about to get this whole new attitude going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're going to go out and have this, uh, 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 you're going to travel, educational pursuits or travel, and you're going to bump into this new romantic encounter. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Libra. Are you in a situationship? 
That's all I'm saying. I get it. You look good. You feel good. Your hair did. Your nails done. You know, you got on this fly outfit. You know, you done lost a couple pounds. Now you about to do a little traveling. You got some education pursuits you're in pursuit of. You know, you out and about. People see you. They see you. You're feeling yourself. And now you're going to have this romantic encounter. Ooh, are you in a situation ship fish? Because if you are, you might want to think that through before you jump in there. Yes, I know you're a small fish and you want to jump into this big ocean of love. But are you, is it another fish in your little pond over there that you're about to forget about? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. In the meantime, you may get upset with your peers or relatives. Here's the thing. Even if you get upset with them, find a way not to be upset. Just move on. I had a very funny, very funny uh, weekend, right? And I honestly had to just shut folks out so I could just not let them zap my energy because I was pissed off with them. And it worked. It worked. So I'm I'm telling you to do the same thing. All right, Fish? All right, cool. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow with more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. Um, Let me tell you about some upcoming events before I actually go into um, Small Business Saturday. So this coming Wednesday, 6 p.m., uh, we're going to be, the, the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce is going to be at Sam's on Main and, and Grayson. It's our monthly networking event. They're so nice over there, y'all. They are just some wonderful people. I invite y'all to come out and network with us, pass out business cards. Let's talk business over dinner. Dinner is optional. It's a free event to attend, so come out and join us. It's going to be this coming this coming Wednesday, Sam's on Main, um, over in Grayson. If you, and they have great food. Not only are they nice people, they have delicious food. Um, the address is 2135 Loganville Highway, Suite 420 in Grayson. So if you know where the Walgreens is in Grayson, if you look across the street, you're going to see the ice cream parlor. You're going to see the sign that say pharmacy spelled with the S. It's inside of the parking lot on the back side because people get lost. We're going to be there this Wednesday at 6 p.m. We're going to have some great food. They sell Greek food, Mediterranean food, and American food. The food is delicious. My favorite is hummus and the knockout shrimp. Love, love, love that. So come and join us. We're going to be there this Wednesday um, not at 6 p.m. Now, next week, next Thursday, um, if you want to learn about this tax credit that everybody's talking about, it's on the TV, it's all over the place, you're going to be there. Um, we're going to have our Mills Over Money breakfast that, that Wednesday, next, two, next Thursday at 8.30 at the 1818 Club located at 6500 Sugarloaf Parkway. There is an entrepreneur tax credit that's going around, that's been around for self-employed entrepreneurs. Um, the first one we heard about, you had to have employees. There is one for self-employed entrepreneurs. If you want to know how to keep some of that money in your pocket, you got to understand these tax credits. And our speaker is going to be talking to you about what that looks like um, as it pertains to the tax credit. So that's going to be, again, if you're a non-member of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce, only $5 to attend. Breakfast is optional. If you are a member of the chamber, it's free for you to attend. So be sure to check that out, okay? And then on December the 15th, talk to Talk Tech, um, I Talk Tech, revolu- revolutionize the way your workflow uh, with, with HoneyBooks. HoneyBooks is an amazing software that helps you to revolutionize, revolutionize the way your workflows. If you are thinking about becoming a business owner, you need to put some systems in place to do that. If you want to stay an entrepreneur, then fine. You do everything. Just remember what I said. I'm trying to get to business owner because a business owner... I am, I'm not necessary to be there. The business can run without me. I'm not there yet. I've been an entrepreneur for so long. It's, I guess I got stuck in being an entrepreneur. Now I'm moving into being a business owner, which means automation is key to the growth of my business, which means you need to have the right tools in place for that. So check out this Tech Talk, December the 15th, 12 p.m. at Atlanta Tech Park and Peace Street Corners, 107 Technology Parkway, um, members, $15, non-members, $25. So join us, all right? For more information about all of these events, go to GwinnettWomensChamber.com. You'll see everything that we got going on, including the, G- the Georgia AI Summit and also our upcoming gala, all right? All right, cool. All right, I'm going to go to a song. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk to you about what Mark Victor Hansen told me that I think you should listen to as well. He told me that years ago, and I have about 20 years to be exact, and I have never forgotten it, and I never will. So I'm going to tell you what that is. It is Talk Business Tuesday. I'm going to tell you what that is right after this song, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Bring back 
I'm your host, R.G. Bell Kearney. Today is Talk Business Tuesday, and I want to share something with you guys that Mark Victor Hansen shared with me. So for those of you who don't know who Mark Victor Hansen is, he is the co-author of the franchise, the Chicken Soup for the Soul franchise. And um, he's also the author of um, The uh, One Minute Millionaire, which I love that book. It was, a, it was a book that was written funny. It was written like the right brain thinker. And the left brain thinker. And I'm the creative. Like I'm in the middle somewhat. But I'm more of the. Like I like stories. Like you got people who are left brain thinkers. They're very analytical about everything. I am sort of. But I love stories. Like I get. You can get your point across better to me. In a story format. But I'm an analytical thinker. Which is kind of crazy. But that's how. I'm a fish. So I go. I can both go both ways. But anyway. Some years ago. I had a show called. Um, Women in Business Today. That was the name of my show. Mark Victor Hansen was my guest on the show. I had I had some amazing people on that show. I've been doing this a long time, y'all. And I, and I want to say that was around 2003 or 2004. Um, Mark Victor Hansen was my guest like three times on my show. And I remember asking him on the third time. And, and so let me put this in perspective. The show used to go, I used to do a lot. I was at a radio station, like a re- regular radio station, traditional radio station. I would go into the studio, into the station Every Saturday morning, my show started at 7.30. It was a live call-in show. Guests can call in and ask questions. Um, it was a live, because it was a regular radio show. Guests could call in and ask questions. So I would go into the studio, and I would um, interview people on Saturday mornings at 7.30. Well, Mark Litt lived in California, so that meant that each time he did my show, he was on West Coast timing, and it was 4.30 in the morning there. And he did the show three times. So on the third time, I said to him, you know, why did you do my little show like three times? Because we were in New Jersey and then the five boroughs of New York. That's, now, that's not little. That's a lot. But, you know, it wasn't like it was an international show like television or something. It was a radio show that covered part of New Jersey and five boroughs of New York. So it was a big show, but it wasn't like Mark Victor Hansen big. 
um, because he had been all over the world talking. And I was like, and, and it was 4.30 in the morning. Now, what I later learned is that millionaires get up around 4.30 every morning. That's what I later learned. Haven't gotten there yet. I'm at 6.30, sometimes maybe 5.30, but I haven't gotten to 4.30 yet. However, when I do get up really early and get stuff done, I feel so accomplished. So I need to adopt getting up really early. That means I have to go to bed really early, which I'm not good at that. Anyway, back to the story. So Mark did the show three times and I said to him, what made you do my show three times? Like you've done this show three times. And he said, listen, you never turn down a PR opportunity ever. He said, you never know who you, who's listening or who you're going to reach. And I, I took that to heart and I said, okay, wow. So I've done shows. I've been on people's shows, you know, that were in like the Philippines. I couldn't understand what the freak the host was saying most of the time, but I did my best and I hope I gave some valuable information that that was that could impact somebody's life. Um, but I took that to heart. And I, I wanted to share this story with you because there was an opportunity that I put out on, on the table for um, for people, some people, not a bunch of people actually, to be able to get exposure for your business, which cost you, for some of the people, it was a part of your membership. For other people, it was just an opportunity because you attended something. And I can't believe how many people sleep on the opportunity for exposure for their business. I just, I can't, I can't believe it. And it's crazy because here's what people don't get, right? And I think social media has spoiled people. I think that's the real problem. I think social media, especially entrepreneurs, they feel like all they got to do is go live on their Instagram page, you know, post something on their Facebook page, maybe do something on LinkedIn, you know, throw up a couple of videos on YouTube and that's it. That is not it, y'all. You have to, you have, if an opportunity presents itself for someone new to see what you do, you need to jump on that with the quickness. I'm talking about quickness, like quickness, right? You need to jump on that. But I think that social media has spoiled people and they just don't see the value in getting their information out there. Here's the other thing too. If someone offers you a free opportunity for exposure and you don't have to pay, I don't care what you got to do. Do you need to get up at 430 to make sure that happens like Mark did? Yes, you do. If the person says, send me a 300 word article, a 500 word article along with a picture and a link, and you need to do that. You need to do that with the quickness because that is an audience that you may not have ever thought you would be able to get because that person is opening up their audience to you. And I, it just baffles my mind, the opportunities that just go untaken because people just, they drag their feet with everything. Now, the other thing I discovered was that not everybody's ready. Yeah, yeah, that's what I discovered. They they show up like they're ready, but are they really ready? They're not. And I and I and I'm I saw a young lady this weekend and I could see in her face that she was first of all she was I talked about it yesterday. She wasn't very personable. That was the first thing. She came in the building, she didn't speak to anybody. Not one person. She just walked in, didn't say good morning, didn't say anything. She just walked in, set her stuff up, and sat down. She never said another word until I asked a question. She left the building, she didn't say anything. She just left. So she has a lot to learn by herself. Like her and her personality, and I don't know, was it fear? Was it the fact that she was an introvert? Well, she probably was an introvert because she had like four people with her. Most of the time, introverts travel with people because they just cannot stand being alone by themselves. So she probably was an introvert, but that's something that she's going to have to work on. I'm an introvert. Like most people don't think I am, but I'm definitely an introvert. But when I got to turn it on, I got to turn it on. So I could see the agony in her face that she was not ready for any kind of media exposure because she just wasn't ready. No website. You know, nothing set up for people to go to. I'm just going to vend and see how much I can sell. Well, that's a hobby. That's not a business. If I say to you, send me your bio, a picture, and your website, and you can't send me that stuff, you're not ready for exposure. So I'm saying all this to say to you, get ready. Because you never know when opportunity will not for you to be exposed, ever. Someone sent me something from New York one day. They said, send me a um, send me a, um, a capability statement. And your bio, guess what they had in about 40 minutes? Uh, I didn't even have a capability statement, but guess what? I know how to create one. And when they said to me, guess what happened? They got my capability statement and my bio in about 45 minutes. And they, and they was like, oh yeah, just send it to me when you can. No, no, I'm going to send it to you today. Because that was someone who saw me and the person said, I saw you on, I, I Googled you. And I'm like, Googled me? They Googled me. 
and they wanted to offer me an opportunity. Um, she said, I can't make any promises because I'm not the decision maker, but I will definitely share your, your information with the board. She, she Googled me and she asked me for a capability statement and a bio. My bio is always ready. Capability statement. Now I have one. So if anybody ever comes back to me and say, send me your capability statement, guess what they're going to get? My capabilities. As a matter of fact, I'm going to post it on my website. So you need to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But you also need to recognize that, yeah, you may think somebody just got a little tiny show or, you know, it's a digital magazine or, you know, it's a blog. It's an audience that you don't have. That's how you have to think about that. You know, and and next week I'm going to talk about producing content because I think that's another very important thing that people need to know. And that should be a strategy going into 2024. If you have not been producing content, we're going to talk about it next week. We're going to talk about all the type of content you can produce and how you can do it. Even if you're busy, even if you don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You should never give up a PR opportunity. I missed one. No, I missed two. Two, and, and I missed them. I didn't give them up. I totally missed them. One time I was being interviewed by this lady and I was, um, this guy came over to talk to me about a fitness plan and he took too long and we went over about 15 minutes and the person would not interview me. She, and I get it because her show, people were waiting to hear from me and I was 15 minutes late and I didn't even realize I was 15 minutes late. The second time I was supposed to be interviewed, I was in church and I said to the guy, look, I'm going to come. I'm in church. He was pissed. He never asked me to be interviewed again. And his network is, he, both of their networks were huge. I felt sick to my stomach, sick to my absolute stomach. I missed those. I didn't, I didn't give them up. I missed them by mistake. And let me tell you something. Sometimes show hosts are very unforgiving. Like I never got that opportunity again. And I know it's because that, you know, it was an ego thing. I'm going to just say that right out the gate. I said to them, I'm so sorry. This is, I, I ran into a meeting. I couldn't get out of, they could care less. And their, their egos is like, F you, Audrey, I gave you an opportunity and you blew it. They didn't get, they didn't care about anything I was saying. And I get it. I'm not like that. I will give people a second chance. They didn't give me the second chance and they both have huge audiences and I missed that opportunity. I won't miss another one. And I have never missed another one after those two because it's on my calendar. If someone reaches out to me and say, Hey, I need something from you they're going to get it. They're going to get what they need. And then they can tell me when's the next date you can be available. Here's my day. What date you need me? Cause I'll make it happen. I'll move some things. You should never give up a PR opportunity. That was some sage advice that I got from Mark Victor Hansen. Listen, Mark is a multimillionaire. The chicken soup for the soul is a franchise. It has done very well over the years. Chicken soup for the entrepreneur soul came out in 2006. It's probably still a bestseller to this day because You need to understand what that life looks like. And not only that, if you're thinking about starting a business, any kind of business, you might want to go read that book first because you're going to need it. You're going to need some chicken soup for your soul when you jump them, when you take, when you decide to take this path right here, this entrepreneur path, it's a hard path, y'all. And I'm not sharing this to deter anybody, but I'm just saying it's a lot of moving parts that go with it. Like making sure you don't miss an opportunity to get exposure for your business, you know, actively seeking out people. And when you're a solopreneur, I understand you, you wear so many hats and you're worn out, right? But this was an opportunity that they didn't even have to go. These people didn't even have to go out and look for. I brought it to them on several occasions. I presented it to them and they just, they just, they just, Found it away for whatever reason. If you don't have a website, put up a landing page. And this is the other thing. This is another thing. If someone has said to you, I've been doing this for so many years, you must know that they have some experience. Why would you not take the opportunity to talk to them and ask questions? If I'm in a room with somebody and the opportunity presents itself and I feel like what, not, maybe, maybe, maybe we didn't bring them, maybe they didn't see the value, Right? By us saying what we were saying, maybe they didn't see the value. I know a lot of times people feel intimidated and they won't approach me, which I think that's pretty crazy because I've, I've lived this for 26 years and I'm very approachable. At least I think I am. My, 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 my circle of friends tell me I'm too accessible, but I was in a room Saturday with 16 entrepreneurs who were pretty, a lot of them were just starting out. No one asked me one question. I thought that was crazy. And I was there the entire time sitting around, walking around and nobody said, sit down for a second. Let me ask you a question. Not one person, not one. And I thought that was, I'm like, 
So I just sat here for four hours with you guys and nobody thought that they should ask me at least one question. I even offered some, I even offered some advice to one person, you know, and still that person asked me any questions. And I, and I don't know what it was. I don't know if they thought that whether or not they were not there yet, which that's my guess. They're just not there yet. They're not where I think they should be or, you know, and that's just me. It's not, it's not my, it's not my move to make, but I can tell you this. It, they it put me in a room with Mark Victor Hansen and Sheila Johnson and, and, and Rachel Ray and Queen Latifah and Ari, Ari, Ariana Huff, Huffington and Gary V. I'm going to see how I can make my way up to ask a question. I can tell y'all that I always raise my hand. I, the question could be just straight stupid. But I'd be like, hey, Audrey from Good Morning Gwinnett, um, I host a podcast. My hand is up because you. I want the room to hear who I am because I'm somebody's going to Google. I'm telling you right now, somebody's going to Google Good Morning Gwinnett. What is Good Morning Gwinnett? They're going to Google it. Somebody That's going to be traffic to my website. I need traffic. So I'm gonna raise my hand, and my question may be totally. I remember being on the set of um, Queen Latifah had a talk show some years ago, and I was in the studio when she was doing the taping, and I needed to be on TV. So I raised my hand. I don't even know what the question was. All I know is the answer was totally wrong. Like the question was wrong based on what they were saying. Like I have no clue what I was saying. All I needed to know was Queen Latifah needed to see me, and I needed to raise my hand. That's all I knew. Am I an introvert? I absolutely am. Do I turn it on when I need to? I absolutely do. Do I miss opportunities for, for press? If I can help it, I will not. Should you miss opportunities for any kind of press? Never, if you can help it. So that was that was the advice I got from Mark Victor Hansen. I wanted to share that with you because I see so many entrepreneurs who just let great opportunities slip through their hands for whatever the reason is. They don't feel they're worthy. They don't think they're big enough. Whatever. I was, when I was on TV, I was sitting up there holding my doll in one hand and my book in the other hand. I'm on the John Wall show. Know why? Because someone said to me, Audrey, I gave your name to the producer of the show. So John Walsh, for those of you who don't know, he had a show called the John Wall show. John Walsh was the man who lost his son, got ki- I think he got kidnapped and killed. And then he, you know, he had these shows, these detective shows, looking for missing people. Then he had something called a John Wall show, which was a talk daytime talk show. Listen, when I got the call, it was like six o'clock on a Friday evening or something. It was an evening time. You need to be in New York tomorrow morning at such and such time. Guess where? What? Guess where I was? In New York. Went through Penn Station. Went through Penn Station, New York. Got me a pretzel from Aunt Annie's. Got me some cheese. Went ate my pretzel and went into that station. When the camera came to me and asked the question, I had my dolls in one hand. I had my book in the other hand, looking straight crazy. But it was a national show that was seen from Maine to Albany, Georgia. How do I know? Because people told me so. Could I? I didn't. I didn't think about it. They say be there. I was there in studio, and I couldn't be on the stage because the stage was filled. But I could definitely be in the audience, and they told me we're gonna come to you. And when they came to me, your girl was holding a book in one hand that I had written, and a doll in the other hand. And my family all been say, "I saw you on TV. Don't miss an opportunity." I won't miss an opportunity if I can help it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I just, I, it just baffles me about the opportunities that people just miss because they just don't take the shot. They just won't do it. And it, I don't understand it. You know, exposure, you need exposure for your business. How else are you going to sell anything if people don't know you exist? Like how, how do you do that? And I know you just think social media is it. Yeah, that's your audience. But what about my audience? What about the next person's audience? Do you not want to be a part of that audience? Do you not? I'm just asking a question. All right, listen, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go to a song and I'll be right back after the song to give you my words of inspiration for today. So stay tuned. I'll be right back.
welcome back up there in the clouds wondering if you're ever coming down all right listen guys that's all i got for you today but before i go i want to give you my words of inspiration for today and here it goes it says give it is not just about making a donation it's about making a difference i'm gonna say that again because somebody missed it giving is not just about making a donation it's about making a difference kathy calvin said kathy calvin said that and she was right You know, sometimes I used to say this all the time, like I've seen people donate a lot of money, right? Because, you know, it's just the right thing to do in their minds, but they feel empty. They feel empty because it's just like stroking a check and they don't really see where the money goes. I always feel like if you want to, it's good to give, but don't you want to make a difference and make an impact? Don't you want to touch it sometimes just to make sure it's real? And today is Giving Tuesday. Find somebody to make an impact on. Find somebody to make a difference with. Yes, you can make a donation. Most nonprofits welcome, pretty much all nonprofits welcome donations, right? And people need those. They need those to sustain and to run and to to continue to serve the populations that they serve. But also think about making a difference. Like it's not always about the money. Can you provide your time? Can you provide your skills, your experience to make a difference in somebody else's life, to make a difference in somebody else's business, to make a difference in your community? Yes, it's good to make a donation, but it's it's even better to make a difference. That's all I got for you today. You could be anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 48 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. If you miss any episodes of this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. You can listen to all the past episodes there. Also, check out some of the great articles I have on the site as well. I'm, I'm glad for you to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn at Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm on all of those platforms at Good Morning Gwinnett. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing, you guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.